Wow, this is hatred against the Igbos by Southerners. This one is no longer the Yorubas or the Hausas or the Fulanis again. Hatred, uh, you know, against the Igbos from within. Okay, There's, this is now a revelation that Mwike ordered demolition of the estate belonging to an Igbo man in Abuja simply because it belonged to an Igbo man. And this is what he's saying. Mwike ordered demolition of my estate after shouting, how can all this land be given to Igbo man? Anambra born billionaire estate developer Nicholas Okachuku reveals. Can you imagine? Uh, FCT Minister Nguike ordered demolition of my estate after shouting, how can all this land be given to Igbo man? Uh, the Anambra bomb billionaire and estate developer Nicholas Okachuku is revealing here. So this so it means that when uh, the FCT Minister Nguike resumed his work as uh, Minister at Abuja, you know, he started demolishing properties almost indiscriminately and people were shouting left, right and center. And one of the affected persons, which is an Anambra businessman and a real estate developer, Okachuku Nicholas, has now come out to say his own experience or to reveal his own ordeal in the hand of Mwike, the new FCT minister. So one of the days that Mwike was moving around the FCT, he saw an expanse of land, an estate with properties, and he went and demolished the estate, saying that how can how can all this land belong to an Igbo man? Did he not buy it? Did he steal it? Did he confiscate it? Did he grab it from the owner? He bought it and he paid for it the same way they hate Igbos in Lagos because Igbos are paying double to get the properties. No matter what price you put, Igbo man will pay and buy it and build whatever you want to build on top. And now the, their eyes are opening and are beginning to demolish their properties to recover this land and to pursue them away. So how do we see this kind of thing now? Now, I see that it's not enough. The same hatred is extended to Igbos in Abuja by Mwike himself. Is this normal? Should this be? These are the questions we should be asking ourselves. Why is it happening? Okay. The Federal Capital Territory Authority, uh, FCTA, on the order of Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barista Nisso Mwike, has demolished a multi-billion Naira property uh, being developed by an Anambra billionaire Prince Nicholas Okachuku and brothers Linus, can you imagine? And brother Linus, so he comes back, and that's what the Igbos do. When you are doing business, they collaborate, they integrate, they join efforts, they join funds, they work together, they cooperate, they even form cooperative among themselves. Okay, so now this man, Okachuku, Nicholas, and his brother Linus have put their funds together and then acquired the land and started developing it only for Wiki to come and demolish everything and confiscate the land. Why? The question I want to ask is, did these people get the, the C of O's or the land documents proper before building? Because by the way Mwike is behaving, it's even revoking C of O the way I look at it. So why will Mwike do that? And why will Mwike even utter that kind of statement that why is, how can Igbo man or Igbo people have this kind of land? We must take it from them. Is that not, is that not wickedness? Is that not hatred? Is that is that not very bad? I don't understand. So now the people have come out now to narrate their ordeal in the hand of uh, Mwike in uh, in Abuja, and this is actually terribly very bad, very very bad. I tell you the truth. Okay, and the uh, people are already reacting to the statement of this uh, Okachukwu Nicholas, and they said. This is impunity of the highest order. This somebody's comment with all the title deeds obtained from the same federal government of Nigeria in this time of hardship and joblessness in the country. Where then is the one Nigeria? If Igbo man cannot be given this kind of allocation in Abuja with his hard earned money, that is how bad it is. That is how bad it is. Igbo man bribe his way to acquire government properties, government proposed development area. Go and investigate, you will see how. And uh, somebody say, Elder, can't you bribe and build if you happy? 
and then somebody has replied oh, this is jealousy oh. and it's true absolute jealousness and so even if i will build in abuja i will make sure that i build 90 percent of my buildings in southeast before going to northern nigeria that is it Muke will die like a dog oh, with all his hatred on Igbos and the government is doing nothing just because it is an Igbo man. Of course, they will not do it. Victim card will not work for you. What are you trying to say? The guy has narrated his ordeal. Should he suffer such loss simply because of a hatred? Yeah? And uh, somebody say yeah, nobody should blame our sons, Yoruba or any other tribe here for what Igbos are going through in Nigeria. Zik is the major cause of the problem of Indigo in this country. And I wish he could resurrect to see the so-called, the one Nigeria he tried to protect. Have you? Because when Nigeria probably would have divided, it was Zik that combined the nation that agreed with all the people to call it one Nigeria. And uh, somebody's asking here, well, I thought Mwike is also an Igbo man. I doubt to this guy. Normally, Ikwere is an Igbo. They just change all their names to somewhere, something else. But what they speak is Igbo. That is the truth. But they refuse to agree that they are Igbo. And uh, another person is commenting here. It says, that also sells those of you that are clamoring one Nigeria and uh, are ready to die while defending it. That's your right. That serves you right. Life and property will never be safe even in your own father's compound. Shetima said it in the leaked audio that after four years of Buhari, Igbo man will be irrelevant in the southeast, in the south. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That was what he said. Yeah. Uh, so I say you have started with your fake iPod audio. How? And that is all you can say. Eh? You guys know how to thwart the truth. Make ego people's self get sense. Not be lying. Stop putting all your money in the place that you will not you will not get anything when you go. If he has C of O, he will get his victory in court. Which court? Does Nigeria have court? That is the question. Eh? Does any can anybody get justice in Nigerian court? Eh? Mwike anti ego policy. He will meet his Waterloo like his brother Sarowua. <laughs> I will like victim card will not work for you. It's not about victim card. This is uh, the real thing that has happened, and somebody is narrating it. If he does not say it, nobody will know. But just like just like somebody said here, yeah, that eagles should also have sense. Stop putting all your eggs outside Igbo land because it's not helping you. In the outside land, in the north, when there's trouble, it's Igbo property they will burn. Now in the southwest, when there's trouble, it's Igbo property they will burn. In Abuja, it's Igbo property they will destroy. So people should learn how to manage their funds and they can how to manage their businesses and their assets know the risky areas and know how to manage yourself in those areas don't put yourself where with trouble come you can't recover anything it is a bad one and somebody is saying my dear don't try to cause disaffection among tribes go and sort out your case if you feel you are right that is not the issue but he has to say it's ordeal because he was not the only person that suffered this kind of thing in Abuja. A lot of people suffered it in the hand of Mwiki. And uh, we don't know how it's been resolved today. And somebody is saying, Ojuku said it. Igbo, Nto, go home. There is more land in our place. They have, they have, okay, they have our interest at heart in this country. Okay. We are being marginalized in every field of this nation. Go home and build. Let's establish in our state. Very soon, I say very soon, things will change. I lie. Eh? And someone say they don't have our interest at heart. Okay, that is what he wanted to say. They don't have our interest at heart. Okay? The thing is very, very serious. I will blame Okachuku, my brother, for believing in one Nigeria. That is it. Uh, the earlier, the better you know that one Nigeria is not for you. <laughs> so, thank you for listening. Let's have a comment. That is what that man passed through in Mwike's hand at Abuja.